How do my carnivorous plants do in the rain? It might seem funny to some people who are more in touch with the natural cycles of the world, but we get a lot of questions from a lot of beginners. I think I was just telling someone the other day that because of our weird, wonderful plants, we are very often the very first plant that anybody has bought. Like sometimes this person's never bought a tomato plant or anything. So there's a big learning curve. And so today I want to talk about something that some of us might take for granted, but we get a lot of questions about, which is, are these things okay in the rain? And yes, of course they are. Um, first off, where these grow in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, they're pretty much getting rained on all the time. And there are hurricanes there. And so they're seeing rain. They have a rain lid to keep the rainwater out, like an American pitcher plant does. But this time of year when it gets really rainy, sometimes that fails and makes them topple on over. So look at this, this is all full of really disgusting bug juice. A really fun game is when you're walking past a table and that dumps on you. But don't worry about them falling over at this phase. All the growth has happened, they've caught all the bugs, they're digesting all the fertilizer they need, and it's totally okay for them to fall over, go brown. That's just gonna happen. That's the natural cycle of things. Maple, maple trees are losing their leaves, and these guys are going brown and falling over. It's okay, sometimes we all fall over. It's shocking, but it happens. Venus flytraps are the same boat. Basically, any carnivorous plant that's hardy enough to be outside is totally fine with being rained on. 